What's going on guys? So uh, today we're playing around with a uh, new um, insert for Zippo lighters. All right, this is something I actually got from a, a viewer a while back. I want to say at least sometime early last year. And I've just been, I've been doing some clean out stuff. <laughs> I'm finding some random things here and there. So I may be making videos on older stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try it out right here, right now. I have uh, one of my Zippos that I use the Zippo insert this is the butane insert all right it has a double flame I think this is very cool this is actually Zippo brand which I did do a video on I believe and today we're trying this one this says is it spark R sparker or is it spark N I don't know I want to say spark R sparker that, that makes sense right it sparks by uh, power practical Let's see here, powerpractical.com, there's an email. Designed in Salt Lake City, Utah, manufactured in China. Of course, China, China's China. Things are just cheap to make in China, that's why everyone does it. Like a little packaging here. Ooh, the little light's red. Maybe that's because I just touched it, because I moved it around. I doubt that's been on. As long as it's been in here, it would have died by then. We have a little charging cable. Yeah, wait a minute. So when you bump it, it turns on. Okay, I gotta investigate that in a minute here. Featured on Shark Tank, a proud member of Mark Cuban Companies. So this is a Mark Cuban inspired, well, not inspired, just funded. Uh, yeah, I kind of like Mark Cuban. I don't know, it's weird. I, I used to not like him. I thought he was kind of pompous and, I don't know, smug, I suppose. But I don't know, I just kind of like him, I guess. I don't really know him. I'm just saying from watching Shark Tank and stuff. I do watch a lot of Shark Tank, at least I did. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know there's a Shark Tank thing. All right, so let's see. As this open. Pop this out, make sure we don't zap ourselves. Although that'd probably be more entertaining for the video. So this is a, it looks like a plasma lighter insert. There's a button. The button shows red. I wonder if that's just because it has to be charged. Let's pop that cam down. So this has an angled head. Let's zoom in here. A lot of these plasma lighters, and there's a, a bunch of them, you know, different brands for, for Zippo inserts, but this one's angled towards you, which is kind of nice if you're smoking a cigarette or something. Let's go ahead and try it. Try it out. Now, there's a metal piece here, I'm assuming. Let's see if it works. No, it does not work outside. So that's good for safety if you're charging or whatever. You're not going to, you know, have your finger on here. <laughs> Dare I? Okay. Yeah, that would have been nice if it, uh, if it zapped me, because again, pretty entertaining, right? But it didn't, so that's for safety's sake. This has to be touching the case. So let's hope there's enough juice in here so I can give you a shot. Pop that all the way in. Put the camera out a little bit. All right, so it does open and it does close. Oh, it works, okay. So if the metal's making contact, that's actually really easy to push. There's barely any, it's not like you have to snap the button or anything. It's just a plasma lighter. I mean, you've probably seen this before. At the corner of this paperwork here. Support. Oh, I don't need to know the support, so let's go ahead and use that for our demo. Just touch the end and I light stuff. Right. Just using electricity. Put that over there. Yeah, I mean there's a there's a ton of them on the market. This one's kind of cool, just a little bit of a different design. If you like Mark Cuban and you want to support him, this would be the one to get. I do like this angle though, like I said, if you're a cigarette smoker, which by the way, dying breed, I don't smoke cigarettes at all, um, but it's just one of those things, like these days, it's just super frowned upon everywhere. So I'm sure the smokers that are left are, are very much uh, disappointed in not only the ridiculous prices for cigarettes, but the fact that everyone looks at them like they're a monster. How dare you, sir, or madam. Anyway, so yeah, having an angle towards you is nice. Not to mention, too, it's not necessarily angled just towards you, but if you're turning it to light something like a candle, it's angled as opposed to flat. So you don't have to turn your wrist as much. So the practical sense, if you're just lighting candle, well, I'm not going to try to light that, but let's go back to the paper. Let's say here's our little candle wick. In fact, why am I doing that? Why don't we actually grab a candle? Hang on a second. All right, so I grabbed the candle here. This is the Iced Blueberry Biscotti from Bath & Body Works. Mmm. Oh yeah, that smells good. All right, so here's a practical use of the lighter. Let's get in there and light the candle wick. There you go. It's lit. 
uh, having this for a, a tri wick candle like this, it's not ideal. Uh, obviously, I can light the one there. Um, but you can see the lid's kind of in the way, and then while this is lit, lighting the other ones would be quite difficult. So this obviously wouldn't be my go-to choice to light this particular candle, but as you can see, just as an example, it, it does light. It, it works exactly how it's supposed to. Let's get a zoom shot of that. Real action shot. All right, here we go. Like fireworks. So there it is. A lit candle. So it does work. The angled part is cool, but I don't want that lit just on one side. So move that out of the way. And yeah, that's some pretty straightforward stuff there. I'm um, just wiping the, uh, the soot off, although I wouldn't recommend while this is in the case coming anywhere near that in case you actually push the button. So there you go. That's uh, pretty straightforward stuff. Go ahead and uh, look through this paperwork real quick, see if I'm missing something important here. Uh, and again, I'm assuming that red light's a charger. That's what I kind of want to see. And I don't care about the warnings, although I'm sure you should probably read that. All right, so here we go. Oh, it's a safety lock. Uh, and battery indicator. All right, so when it's out, let's take this out. If you push that, it will give you a color. So red's low, so obviously it's brand new out of the package, so it's low. Uh, blue is charging and green is fully charged. Very cool. But it also says safety lock. It says plug the insert into the into a USB power source, such as a wall adapter, battery pack, or a car charger via the included micro USB cable. Mm, how is it a safety lock? Make sure it's flipped down. Remove old insert uh, from flip top case and replace the, oh, it is Sparker, S-P-A-R-K-R, -R, insert. Safety lock will be disengaged when inserted into the plasma lighter uh, is ready to use after five seconds. Avoid pressing down on the power button to avoid accidental activation. Okay, pretty interesting. Well, I'm gonna leave this out because I'm gonna go ahead and charge this up. Yeah, thumbs up to, to Mark Cuban and this company for making it happen. Kind of cool. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know if that was, because I never saw that episode, obviously, otherwise I would have known about this. But I don't know if this was like the first, you know, first plasma lighter insert or if this company just made this version and brought it to shark tank and they went yeah what a great idea so you don't have to pay for fuel and it's a you know green peace earth and we'll all be saved <laughs> you know what i mean people are really into just saving energy and not wasting fuel these days um so yeah i don't know i don't know if it was the first uh it certainly won't be the last but i have to say it's pretty cool uh i don't know what the price of this is because it was a gift so you'd have to look it up Oh, and are we dead or no? I said to wait five seconds. Okay, all right. Again, that makes a lot of sense for safety. I really like that. That's what this button is. So that button gets depressed when it's inside the case, I'm assuming, in addition to the metal, touching the metal, the light goes off. Okay, so that makes sense. So you're going to push it in. It won't work for five seconds because they're assuming that your finger is right on top of this thing and you're going like this to push it in. So it won't work for a second, you know, just so you don't zap yourself. That's actually very smart thinking, because I'm sure that's exactly what some people would do. They just shove it in there and goes, ah, and then they got a burn in the finger. So that's all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Let me know if you've seen the episode of Shark Tank for the Sparker. And if so, what season, what episode? I'll have to look it up on YouTube maybe or, or you know, find it streaming somewhere and check it out myself now that I have one to play with. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The Sparker Plasma insert for Zippo lighters. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.